Hello and welcome back. This is part 2 of the tutorial. In this, we would see how to put the boundary conditions for this problem and get the results. Double click on Setup to open the ANSI's Fluent CFD solver. Select the double precision option and click on Start. Click on the check to check the quality of the mesh, make sure that the minimum volume should not be a negative value. If it would come negative then you need to remesh the model otherwise you might get an error in results. Click on report quality to observe the orthogonal quality and aspect ratio of the generated meshed cells. Go to models and select the energy model. Check the box to enable the energy equation for heat transfer calculations. Click on the viscous model, keep the default SSTK Omega Turbulence model for this problem. Click on OK. Go to Material in the Outline view. Click on Fluid, click on Fluid Database. Select the Water Liquid and click on Copy. Click on Change or Create then close the Create Material window. Click on the cell zone conditions, select the fluid domain cell zone. Change the cell zone material for the fluid domain to water. Click on OK. Keep the default material aluminium for the tape geometry. Go to the boundary conditions menu. Sort the boundary conditions as per the wall boundary type. In the inlet boundary, put the velocity inlet boundary condition. Enter the inlet velocity of 0.005 meters per second. Keep the default turbulence intensity and turbulent viscosity ratio if you don't know the values. Click on OK. In the outlet put the pressure outlet boundary condition. Enter the temperature boundary condition for the pipe outer wall. Keep coupled wall boundary conditions for the twisted tape insert wall. Select the Solution Methods option. Select the Green Gauss Cell Based Gradients for Spatial Discretization. Select the Second Order Upwind Scheme for All. Go to Monitors and select Residuals. Change all the equation's residuals to 10 to the power minus 6. This would improve the solution accuracy. Click on OK. Go to Initialize menu. Click on Initialize. Initialization is completed. Go to the File menu and select Data File Quantities. In additional quantities select Enthalpy and Entropy. Click on OK. Select Run Calculation. Put the number of iterations as 1000 and click on Calculate.
the calculation is complete. Go to File menu and select Save the project to save the solution file. Exit the solver setup and proceed for CFD post processing to get the output results. Double click on results to open the CFD post processing workbench. Go to insert menu and insert a new streamline. Select start from inlet and click on apply. Make a quick animation to observe the flow through the domain. Using the Animation Option tab you can modify the shape and size of the animation objects. If you want to save the animation video then select the Save Movie check box. Define the save location. Turn off the repeat forever option and click on play. The file would be created fully after the play got completed. This is the solution animation video generated using the quick animation option. Go to Insert menu and create a new plane. Select the method as the YZ plane. Click on Apply. Now again go to Insert menu and insert a new contour. Select the new plane as the location, select the variable, enter the contours as 100 and click on Apply. You can save the contour image using the Save Picture option. Similarly, obtain the contours for other variables also.
Now we would plot the entropy and enthalpy plot along the length of the pipe. Go to the insert menu, select location, and insert a new line. Enter the coordinates of the two endpoints of the line. Put the number of samples as 1000 then click on apply. Please note that this line is not on the axis line of the pipe. Insert a new chart. Go to Data Series tab, select the line as the location. In the x-axis select the z-length, and in the y-axis select static enthalpy as the variable. Please note that these options can only be seen if you have selected the variables in the data file quantities. Click on Apply. Similarly, obtain the static entropy variations along the line. With this let's end up here. Please comment for any queries or suggestions. If you learned something new then please hit a like. If you are new to our channel then please subscribe to our channel for more tutorial videos. Thank you. Stay healthy stay safe.